everyone, this is Cypher Deck, and we are back in EverQuest on Ogier on the Red server. As you can see, my name is Red, as I am on the Red server. Anyway, um, I want to talk to you about what you're going to see in this video, because I'm going to be doing some kind of different things. Um, I finally got into a confrontation with somebody else. Um, and the first video after this section is going to be me and Crushbone and that whole thing going down. Then I wasn't able to record it until like the very end. I was kind of just trying to run and fight and do everything that you see me do in the first video, but, um, end up getting the final uh, section of the um, of that fight where I finally end up actually dying to a player so I wanted to just explain that before we get to it because I actually recorded myself talking while I was actually through those kind of things I get kind of weird I get kind of strange and all of that it's um it's very um intense in the first one and you can definitely tell my voice goes way down whenever I die <laughs> so, so I just want to want to get you ready for that um I had to manipulate I'm going to say my schedule um, due to uh, work and other things so the video that you're seeing today is actually recorded um, half of today and half of last night um, and the next video that you will see is going to be on um, on Friday instead of Saturday um, this is to compensate again for the change of time so instead of a video on Tuesday and Thursday we're going to have one on Wednesday and Friday. Um, well, let's go ahead and talk about a few things. Um, I don't know how soon it's going to be coming up, but at the end of the video, I'll, I'll uh, talk to you as we do some more fighting in a group. But um, you will notice that my gear is completely different than previously seen. Um, I uh, was able to finally finish the quest that I was helped with um, to get the Bloodforge um, helm. It was actually a very small chance to even get the helm by doing the version of the quest that I was doing, which was the ogres. Um, you kill two ogres and then you hand in their heads and you get a chance to win a piece of armor uh, including the helm which has five to all resist plus five strength and then AC or you could have won um, the rest of the armor pieces um, which are primarily AC based so I was able to get the helmet which is the rarest of them um, supposedly and uh, that's pretty awesome because um, I won the helmet. Um, now, if I want to do the helmet again, what or if the, on the next turn in that I do for the ogres, I want to make sure that I want to have this helm on a corpse. And that may seem weird, but by having it on a corpse, I am allowing myself to have two helmets. This will allow me to sell one and then reloot my body to get the other one. Uh, but it also allows me to get um, another piece of armor uh, without having to worry about if I do get another helm and so on. But anyway, um, I wanted to uh, let you know about that. Did the pristine uh, carpus um, quest, again, all of this is thanks to... Uh, Gristling, I, I want to make sure I'm saying his name correctly because he helped me with weapons and everything. Um, and then I'm just making sure how much time we have left before we move into the actual uh, recording of the fight. But um, I had a lot of fun. It was a great evening and... Um, and I enjoyed myself. There was another person who actually gave me some uh, some weird weapons, 
which I'm going to either save for a dwarf warrior I make. Uh, now that I can do this Blood Forge armor quest, um, I may uh, make a warrior or I may sell it so that I can get myself a sword of mourning or a ghoul bane or something along those lines. Um, but those are things that I'm thinking about, things that I'm working on. Um, I know that at some point I do want to start doing the soul fire quest. I don't know how early you can start that. Uh, but, uh, that is something that I would like to do. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I had a fun time and, um, uh, well, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, cut away and you should see what ensues. It's pretty fun and funny at the same time. All right, we're back, and I decided to come to Crushbone uh, because I know the zone really well. And though the experience isn't great because I'm not getting any experience off the mobs that I'm killing, uh, the ability to get belts, which uh, can be turned in for experience, is good enough, uh, in my opinion. Uh, okay, someone's here. Ooh. Um, yes, there is another person here. So that's interesting. Good to know. Um, I'm gonna just keep killing and um, looking around, seeing who's doing what. Um, I am. Uh, okay. Attack this guy. Hit him. Um. Oh, there we go. He is blue. I knew he would be blue. All right, let's go ahead and change weapons. So I don't know if uh, they are interested in grouping, but um, I know that, uh, yes, they are not interested in grouping. <laughs> Yay, I'm gonna die for the first time and it's gonna be on camera. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh well, I died, that's fine. Oh, do I have my hands? Click it and hit it. I do. Oh, you're dead, dude. You're dead. You were dead. Oh, why are you running? You're the one who started it. Oh. <laughs> oh, that kind of did not do anything to me, did it? Oh, where are you running to? You wanted to start it? You want to start it? Come on. <laughs> You going up, going down, what you doing? What you doing? You wanted to start the fight? I'm bringing it, I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it. <laughs> Don't mess with the dwarf if you can't handle it, man. Even with the blue on me. Oh, you're still running. Get it. <laughs> Don't make me bring out my two-hander. Don't make, Don't make me, oh, you're lucky. You're lucky this guy. <laughs> What's the plan here, man? I'm gonna keep hitting you with my bash. I got. Don't make me go two-handed. I'm going two-handed, yo. I'm going two-handed. Don't make. <laughs> I'm about to bring the pain. Is he running? Is he running for the zone? I haven't seen him. I think he's given up. Maybe he fell into the moat. I'm gonna go ahead and zone to see if he uh, left, because that's. <sighs> That's fun times, man. That is fun times. I don't know if he's on me still, what's going on, if he's in the zone or not, but that was fun. So, I'm about to die to another player. <laughs> um, I am dotted, I am enfeebled, and my skin, oh well. I died to Delagrid, Dela whatever, Delator. It was expected. Um, I did pull mobs on him, so I'm not really worried about it too much. He got up on a high uh, area and then uh, ended up started dotting me. Oh well, that's life. It's gonna happen. Um, I didn't see a message though. That's kind of odd. Is that only relegated to people level 10 and above? Huh. So that's cool. Um, 
I would think that it would even show who here or whatever, but it, and then I didn't see anything else. Anyway, back to get my body. Should be fun. So that was my two encounters for the night. I was able to fend off on one of the encounters and on the other I was not able to and died. Now I could have at any point during the fight um, backed off or um, tried to run for the zone or do anything like that. But you know, whenever you're doing PvP and you're fighting someone you're pretty much either going to live or you're going to die and though you don't want to give them your your death um, I don't see running as an option as far as I'm concerned um, fight to the death it's more honorable and uh, if you can't handle it uh, you shouldn't allow yourself to become engaged in such uh, actions in the first place. And in that instance, it really, uh, it really was my choice to decide if I wanted to engage them or not after they cast on me for the first time. Um, it was to me an invitation to attack them, but um, at the same time, whenever they attacked me, I was at 50% health. I could have just um, zoned out or stayed out of the uh, the area they were in, uh, but um, I didn't, and so I ended up dying because of it. And I'm not really worried about it. It's a life. You die all the time in EverQuest. It's just the only thing is that now it's I'm um, I'm a life on their counter, as it were. Um, one thing that um, I noticed, I, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but um, our names aren't listed whenever uh, he kills me. Uh, I don't know if that's, like I said, um, or didn't say, um, if it's level 10 plus or what it is, but anyway, my name or his name didn't come up saying who won or lost, which we know who lost, I lost, but either way, um, I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, so, just to end out here, um, I talked to this guy earlier um, about grouping. Uh, he was in West Commons, and I was, of course, in Fedor. And he finally ended up getting a port over here. We grouped for a while, got good experience, and leveled. I'm, all, I'm now level 9. I was trying to get level 12 this week, so tonight is our is my last chance to try to get level 12 um, to meet my goal. Uh, will it happen? Probably not, but I'm still going to try for it anyway. By the way, his damage shield is awesome. It's 5 damage at that level, which uh, we're both level 9, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know, I just overall I'm enjoying my time on this and though yes you're going to die to PvP and to mobs and everything like that and it really is only um, keeping you from uh, fighting a little bit longer than you had planned because you have to run back to get your corpse um, I haven't really had too many bad meetings with people I haven't had anybody um, spawn camp my corpse uh, or anything along those lines so it's um it's going pretty good so far as I as I can see it and at least you don't lose your gear like you did on Ralazek and Selenzek uh, on live so all right guys thank you so much for watching I hope this made sense or I hope I said everything correct um, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. This is Cypher Deck. Have a great day, a great evening, and a great night. Peace out.